everyone, my name is Donna Giroux and welcome to my gallery in Yale Town called The Space and welcome to my 2020 solo art exhibition titled Lost and Found. Now I know you couldn't be here with me tonight physically, so I thank you so much for joining me from your homes, uh, but I wanted to give you a little idea of what it would look like hanging in the gallery. So why don't you come on in and let's get this party started. <laughs> to normalize the fact that we all go through not knowing what's next. And I really wanted this show to, A, like I said, make sure you, did, you knew that you weren't alone, and to inspire you to possibly be there for someone who is going through something that, and needs your help. So I'm gonna take you around the gallery and I'm gonna show you each piece, and why don't we start with the first one. And obviously, painting number one, it is titled Lost. It's 48 by 72 inches. This is a big piece. And I wanted this to be the first statement piece of the show. I wanted to depict what I thought feeling lost might look like. And as you can kind of see in the middle, there's like a meandering path here to kind of nowhere. That's kind of how we feel when we're not understanding where to go next. Also, I've used a lot of crackle paste in the middle and that kind of represented cracks in a foundation that you haven't got everything quite figured out. But then, as most of you do know about my artwork, I never have a negative connotation to it. There's always something positive. And so that's why I chose to use the gold color. Gold is something that's sparkly, sought after, and I wanted that to represent that, yes, you may in fact feel lost at the moment, but there is this place that we're trying to get to. So, painting number one, titled Lost. Let's move on to painting number two. Um, and this one is titled Unknown. And I think being lost, it means that you don't know what's going on. You're very much, which way's up, which way's down? How do I get to that top of the mountain? And with this shape here, kind of a mirrored sense that you don't know which way is up, you don't know which way is down. Um, and again, just using some really light, positive colors still a little dark or still you don't know what's going on, but there is that hope, that optimism that the rest of that light, uh, light colors evoke. Now, if we move on to painting number three, and this is actually my favorite, and I know you're not supposed to have favorites, but hey, what do you do? Uh, this one here, it is titled Accept, and I think that accepting uh, the fact that you're feeling lost is a huge part of the process when you're trying to figure things out. This one is 60 by 40 inches. It's a nice vertical piece. The only vertical piece I have in the series this time. Um, and it's about these colors, these vibrant colors that show, all right, I'm starting to figure things out now. This is, I'm starting to see the positive. You know, we still got a little darkness. We still don't know quite what's gonna happen. But again, those bright colors providing those uh, optimistic feelings. And if we move over here to the fourth piece, uh, this piece is titled Surrender. And I think that when we're going through something like this, a huge part of it is that you just have to surrender to what the universe is offering you right now. If you just kind of let go and just be like, okay, here I am, this is where I'm at, then the right people will show up, the universe will do what it needs to do, and you will make those next steps. These tranquil, peaceful blue colors kind of give me that sense of like, oh, you know, things are on the horizon and everything's going to be better. So that's what I really tried to portray in this one um, for the word surrender. Now, moving on to 
another 36 by 36 uh, inch piece. This one is tall, titled First Step. Now, when you're working your way through something, you always have to take one step to begin with, and that's often the hardest one. And I kind of use the crackle paste to demonstrate the fact that it's they're starting to close up a bit more. I put a, a gel medium on those cracks, so you know the foundation it's starting to get better because you're taking those first steps to what you need to do in order to get to that place you want to be. So this is super bright, super vibrant, and I think just it evokes again a lot of optimism and positivity. Now this one here, a lucky owner uh, has already purchased, so sorry guys, this one is not for sale, but this piece here is titled Courage. And I think that at any point when we are going through something, it takes a lot of courage. It takes a lot of courage to accept that you're not got it all sorted. It takes a lot of courage to surrender. It takes a lot of courage to take those first steps. And the vastness, the whiteness of this piece was like stepping out into that unknown. And that's kind of how I wanted to evoke what courage felt like. Now, painting number seven. This one is titled Leap. And again, just like taking your first steps, sometimes you just gotta take a leap of faith. And I kind of try to show that by almost creating this ledge light like feel here where you know you would kind of take this jump and kind of hopefully learn to fly as you're, as you're going down and figuring things out here in this more positive section with these brighter colors. Uh, this one is 48 by 48 inches um, and there's just something about these colors that I've chosen this time. It's a little bit abnormal compared to what I normally use but there's something super hopeful about this one too. Now, painting number eight, if anyone has been watching the uh, news lately, this is a special one. This is the first painting I painted for in this show, and this was actually the one that got stolen. So, luckily enough, the piece was returned, and this one is titled Believe. And so, I think just within the process of this whole show, believing in that you can do whatever you're trying to figure out is a huge thing. Um, and then also, when I was going through the point where this was stolen and hopefully you know wanting it back I, I just I kept faith and it did so this is going to go to someone who's very lucky there's like a whole story behind this piece it looks very heavenly um, which I think kind of evokes that feeling of believing uh, so this one is for someone that uh, it's gonna be a it's gonna be pretty happy with this one now I know I'm not supposed to say favorites, but this is probably my second favorite. This one is 48 by 48 inches as well. And this one is titled Help. And I don't know about you, but I've tried to do things on my own and you just can't. It takes a village. You need help uh, with whatever you're tackling in life. It just makes things a lot easier. Uh, it makes you feel more normal because you realize a lot of people are going through the same kind of stuff. And I kind of, tried to create these columns. So again, very different than what I normally do. It's not horizontal, it's more vertical in shape. But I kind of see people, I kind of see a community, I kind of see a town, something that's alluding to the fact that we got people together and that it takes a village. So, you know, this is something I really, really contemplated as I was creating this whole show um, and just really stuck on this point that needing help and asking for help is a huge component of getting past and through what you need to get through. Now this is painting number 10. Uh, this is a 36 by 72 inch uh, painting. And this one is titled Rise. You're rising to new beginnings. You're coming through. You've just done all this work. You've accepted, you've surrendered, you've taken your leaps of faith. And now you are coming to this place of like, yes, I got this. And that is a powerful place. And these are powerful colors. And that is what I wanted this piece of art to evoke. Um, you can see those bright oranges mashing with the bright purples, and then you still have that really nice, tranquil, teal base. So this is a bold statement piece, and it's looking for the perfect home. And then our very final piece, guys, this is uh, painting number 11, and obviously it is titled Found. You did all this work, like I said, 
and finally you've gotten to a place where like, yes, I sorted it out. You know, this may not be the last time you have to go through this process, but when we do get to the point where we find what we're looking for, or change what we're trying to change, there is this beautiful feeling and I really tried to create this shape that I thought evoked being found. Meaning like, again, it was very bright, heavenly colors. There's almost some shape in here where things are breaking through and coming to. Um, and I just feel like this is a really nice, light piece that brings out so much positivity and so much normalcy about you know what I'm talking about. So that is my show. Those are my brand new 11 pieces and I really hoped you had a good look through as if you were in the gallery with me tonight. Obviously you're not. I'm very grateful that you are at home. I hope you have a glass of wine for it. Um, and what I would ask you to do now is just continue on on this page of the website. Scroll down. Uh, I have 11 paintings. Uh, all the pictures are up there with the, the paintings. And then if you click on each piece, then it expands onto separate pages. That way you can also see uh, more photographs of each painting. Uh, lots of up close textural details and a little video of up close uh, textural details because that's a huge part of what I do and what I create. So I will be here uh, till 11 p.m. tonight. Please use your chat button which is in the bottom right corner of your website. I'd love to hear what you have to say. I'd love to respond to any questions. You could also message me on Instagram if you want or just use the, the contact information here on my website. So again, thank you for being here and I hope you enjoyed the show.